Brown back up. Open. Shot for her. Manila doesn't let Bud much. Team from McLaurin get much more of the four-point lead. Take a sleep. McLaurin Hawkins on the base. And a foot on Bauer. A good call. Bullock wants to time out. He doesn't want McLaurin to get the third advantage. 38 defensive average. That's what they're going to do. Right through that next call. The score is McLaurin 39. Manila 35. There's a pass. This is a pass. 36 is all to be told. It's up there right now. 39 to 35 with Lakeview coming from 10 points down to take this lead. And a defensive team, two great defensive teams against each other. And now Manila has to decide just not going to play this. Well, it's the kind of team. That's Bud McCray right now. He's in the seat. Somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose. Okay, and the Indians uh, play and they rule. But how about it? It goes back up again, apparently. Lakeview on that fourth lead right. and the ball. Here's Pick with a ball. Back out. The ball to play. Defensively, Dean Rossman. She was a good day tournament freshman and a good one. Of course she is. She still has those guard characteristics plus the shooting ability to pass loose and to get her to the pass is called on Diane Pick 24. Manila not yet one and one. That's very important in this game. Yeah, but Manila also has position. That is important as Rosterman puts in back against her. Rosterman on the far side. Rosterman now. Looking very deliberate to try to get the shot. This is the roster. Assuming a lot of time here, too. With it, and it's good. Bauer hits it. 25 points to Kathy Bauer in her game. She's won two point ball. And that probably got Lakeview Auburn out of the stall game. That okay. best. And now they're coming out there front of not letting them stand around. They're not doing anything. Shot with the ball against like so. If they get rid of that ball, three seconds to and girls have to off. If they get down to the point where Manila has to call somebody, shot will be the one they'll find. Ricky Oberdick tries the shot. Charging foul. Shot. Big call. Picks up with the foul. Now they're discussing things out. This is going to happen. Shot. Charged with it. Foul. They were checking to see it's one or one. Offensive foul. That's what the decision was. Offensive foul. Over with the ball. Gets it across the line. And it's a uh, one over to Manila. A big tournament to go, and that big throw foul. Manila now has the best, Jim. They can up. Manila down with the points a couple minutes ago, and there is Rosterman. And a big rebound for pick. A pick across the line, and it goes into foot with the Lakeview. What a thing we're seeing here. Or er, Mickey with the ball. Almost stolen out. Rebound shot is said they come down. So, key rebound as she wrestles away. They had one guard on her face. Four was out of play. Just ball. She's controlled. She's going to get it out of turn in the lake. The circle on the particular jump. Jim, would this be considered a thriller? A thriller? A thriller with a Trying to be a killer, but I don't know. Lakeview may maybe the killer. The guy with the coming up. Five and a half minutes playing Lakeview with the ball and a two point As Mickey Oakley comes past down to Wernemann. The big shot. A 14 year old. A young person, 14 years old, is really coming on tonight. 18 points now for Wernemann. Only a freshman. It's a rocket, and what a key play for this guy. Watch him, Rocket. He had to have that one. Lakeview up, just throwing it down with five minutes to play. Lakeview leading by two, 41 39. Shot the basketball, right head to head with Chiso. And an eighth, and again, look at that, the basketball, and she's fouled. And now, for the first time, Lakeview can take a five point lead. They're ahead, 50 to 39, and that is the end of for Judy Hanson. Judy Hanson fouls up, coming into the center. Julianne Schechter, 31. Big shot coming up. She can convert the two-point play. It's a five-point game, and it is not a five-point game. Four-point lead again. Four left over. Now it's Manila with the basketball four-court. And it's important you get the 440 right now. Rockman again with the ball. Rockman, and I think the foul coming up to the backcourt. Right now, Blake Bueller. Is by Victoria Ober, one shot. Here comes the young lady, leads the state in free throw percentage. She's hit 80% of her free throw all season. She made 15 out of 10 last night. And 85 low in competition. Masterman, you can almost close your eyes and ask that the free throw is good. 43 3. If everything automatic points, you have to. If they ever get the designated free throw in the post, <laughs> fire this game. This thing right out. Two point. And that's the giant pop out pass into four points, batted back again. Now it's Mickey with a basketball. Mickey got the shot. 
Joanne shot with the ball. Open shot by the front. Look at the gal. Put it to the fourth base. So, 22 points for Sarah Werner. Having a cooker day. 25 to 3 on score along the line now. Right back. Here he goes. Okay, 4 0 to play. What can we see? season has come out of the final half of the fourth. All right, left Auburn with the best ball in four. Still to warn him up. On the side now, shot down the lane to make it opening. Here's Oberding. There's no good underneath the shot, and then she's fouled by Shelly by second. The last shot is fouled after shooting by Dan Shekin. And the lady at the free throw that was fifth in the high jump for the hurdles last year, an athlete. All right, time for the run. With the floor, on the floor. Lakeview, 45 to 43. Now, Manor, Frosty, and Duran shot goes to the free throw. 340 to play. You see two points, doesn't amount to much, or four points doesn't amount to much. Well, when you look at Robert, and you get the point deep coverage, it amounts to maybe all of them. Well, while you have counted notes about it, Troy, with 14 out of 354 all night, for the tournament, that's 6,350, and that is a new record. Congratulations uh, to Wayne, to his entire staff, the girls, you and everybody who makes this thing go. The gal who's going to make Lakeview up for right now. I mentioned she's an athlete. She also showed the grass at the steer at the XT Fair this year. It's up and down, and it's a football lead for Lake Auburn with 3 to 6 to play. Stella has the back ball. Check it here. Take it out of the back row. Tony Moore. Now they have the four points. And they have the score. Lake Auburn will stall on the four point lead. Underneath, and she tries to knock in. Let's see how the goes. I believe block the K pick. It's Bowers on K pick. It's in Bowers to the throw line. A couple of muskets. First team all time performer, Kenny Bauer. Former guard, a good one. Bauer at the line. Free throw is probably to keep Lakeview out of a stall game with 332. All right. And now Bauer again at the line. The time, a key miss. A key pick at the ball. Up to Diane across the line. Goes to the four court. And it's one out with it. Three feet for Lake Thompson. Three minutes and 20 seconds to play. Look at that. Tight end man defense. Under the overding. Big shot. Look at the biggest sweep that they've had so far. 29 to 24. Take of Lakeview on it. Manila basketball. They beat the team twice in the season. He shot the first to go in. Now let's see what they have to do as it comes down. He's fouled. And by the power, that'll be the four on Bauer. They get five. The, 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 the overding is twice when Tucker back in. Well, calls are tied up. This may be the game here, the strap of shoes. Timeout, take the orbit. Nine, but not 34. The scouts were not had a ticket for this one. The ratings are because Stella was rated number two in everything that was taken here while half the number one that was got beat early. Lakeview Auburn was as high as number four at one time season. And so now, when they got beat, of course, had to drop down. But now we have Kipperding with a key one and one free throw position at the free throw line. The big free throw of the season. That is it. Oh, what a hoop. A big five point now. This is my lead. We should take for Lakeview with two behind up line. They had a lead like Minneapolis. Right. And now they have a two-point lead. As good as four points. And 50 points that they're not as exact as they had in overtime to beat Mediapolis. 50 to 50. Now we have some interesting contrast. Coming to that court is going for the first time we see Manila back to the wall of this tournament. Trailing and trailing by six points. Now it's the drive. Now the ball is still at me. And Lakeview with the basketball and a second lead. And Mickey Oakley is now they're going to play for the first. Patton will be able to try and follow the half over the ring. It's only 7 to 19 at the free throw in this tournament. But over to Shotton. And now Sarah Winter. And now Fox is called on the go. It's a good ball away. Four from Shelly Silva. It gets down to where Manila takes on shot and call her for the end to bring Oberding to the uh, forward place of shot. Shotton in the gut. So Oberding is considered to throw. That's what they're saying. That's central out right now from a lot of excitement over there. You know, a town that's going right now. Probably Ida Grove. Ida Grove beat Lakeview early in the year. Auburn beat them in the sectional tournament. Right, and Manila the price for that, I think, uh, did to supply Lakeview with the incentive. Obviously, have to glory, or Ricky Overton can get a nine point. He does. Unbelievable back here by Lake Auburn. It wasn't supposed to be able to do it. And they now win 53 to 4 of a high covered Manila. Rocks him out down the line. And Gene puts it through. 205. The time is against right now. Same. Lakeview Auburn, Lakeview Auburn is going to slow down. This is their pass. He's out in front. You can't stop those basketballs. Three seconds, a double pivot, or a... Uh, a second, you can replace Lee Hanson. That is shot foul, Jim, a moment ago in the season.